Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. For today's preview, Cheetahs versus the Greek was the second match of the 2022 Carling Curry Cup, which kicks off tonight, uh, Friday the 14th of January, as the Bulls travel to Imbombeda to take on the Pumas. And then tomorrow we've got two games. We've got the Cheetahs hosting the Greek was before the Lions, a very young Lions side, have traveled down to the Western Cape where they will face uh, the Stormers who are the Western Province at the Cape Town Stadium. In the Cheetah side, uh, two big veterans and a current spring mark in the likes of France Stadium. Greek was a whole sponge of debutants. I mean, half the team is basically on either Curry Cup debut or Greek was debut. It's a very inexperienced Greek was side. And I think that um, they could be in for a long day, if we're being very honest. But um, that's the nice thing about the Curry Cup. There's an opportunity to sort of start blooding players. And, and a, lot of pe- people are, a lot of players have moved around quite a lot in the last sort of a uh, couple of months as contracts sort of came to an end in November last year. We've seen a lot of movement across the various unions. For example, you'll see that Gideon van der Merwe is making his um, Curry Cup debut for the Cheetahs up against uh, the Greekers, which will be very interesting as well. Um, before we look at the two teams, please do smash like on the video and subscribe to the channel as well. In terms of how the two teams will line up tomorrow, this is how the home side um, will be running onto the park. Up front, Skulk Ferrer, Marius van der Merwe and Mane Kutsir will provide that sort of grunt up um, in the front row. And I think they'll probably have the, the upper hand, although you know, the likes of Yano Bush is a decent operator for the Greek was, um, But they will be um, supported in the second row by the likes of Renio Bernardo and Victor Sekikete. It's becoming quite a settled cheater's pack. And I think uh, something like a Victor Sekikete, you know, the, longer, the more games he plays, the better he gets. Um, it's a very impressive loose trio, though. And, I mean, we all know that Slav could just churn out loose forwards. And this is a good loose trio again. Gideon van der Merwe has made the move to, um, which will hopefully help him get sort of bigger, um, more recognition um, because I think he's a fantastic player. And he's always topping, you know, tackle stats. He's got a knack for scoring tries. Uh, he's a very hardworking player. Um, and I think that, you know, it's going to be a matter of time for a bigger union were to snap him up. So he has moved down to the Cheetahs now. Um, he's joined by Aiden Davis, a very nice player, and Mtlali Mossi, who will start at eighth man. Ruan Pinar, with all the experience in the world, will captain the side. He is next to Chris Smith in the halfback pairing. The two wings tomorrow will be Enver Brandt and Craig Barry. Franz Steyn partners David Britz in the centers, and then the very exciting Clayton Blomikis at fullback. Interesting to sort of see how Franz Steyn goes in the next sort of couple of weeks, and whether he sort of stays at the Cheetahs and continues to play the Curry Cup, or whether they maybe try and push to try and get him a loan move to a URC franchise. But at least, you know, he will be playing rugby. But, you know, for example, you look at the Lions side that's been there. It's very much an, almost an under-20 side with a couple of fringe players. Is that the standard of rugby we want for our staying playing week in, week out, and then going on to play for the spring marks? Um, so it should be quite interesting to sort of see what happens there. Off the bench, the reserves for the Cheetahs. The reserve front row is Lou van der Vestes and Leluto Sequeni and Conrad from Furion. They are backed up by Sergio Moreira and one of my favorite players, Andisa and Sila, uh, who needs to have a long sort of spell without injury, really, to really... Um, get his sort of career back on on the mark, but he's a very good player when he's on the park. And then Ruin Kruger, um, Kruger and then Robert Iberson and Malcolm Yar are the backline replacements. So France staying probably covering number 10 as well. Robert Iberson more in the center of a mold. Uh, plenty of experience with him as well. So there's quite a lot of experience in this Cheetah side, which is not what you can really say about this Greek was side um, with a number of players on debut for the um, the Cheetahs. Now, if you look up front, Eddie Davids on both Curry Cup debut as well as Greek was debut, and he's next to Alonjo Fenroy and Yana Burtu, who are much more settled within uh, the the Greek was side and, and will pr- and be the experience next to Eddie Davids. Um, in the second row, Zolani Zito is um, joined by Derek Pretorius, who's also on Curry Cup debut as well as his first game for the Greek was. Uh, Neil Otto has made the move to Greek was and he gets his Greek was debut tomorrow and next to the likes of Siba Goma as well as Ruan Stienkamp, the former Bulls player who will captain the side. It's a decent pack. You know, um, I'm very interested to sort of see how they go. It's a little more experience in their backline. There's a lot of players um, on, I think they've got three players on Curry Cup debut in the backline. So it should be interesting to see how they go. But that front row really needs to pitch up because if you allow that Cheetahs back line, which has got a lot of exciting players, to get onto the front foot and, and allow the likes of France Saint to start, you know, controlling the game, it's going to be a very long day for this week's back line, which doesn't have a lot of experience. They'll therefore be relying a lot on Stefan Ungro, who's back from his stint at the Stormers, where I thought he was playing very well, actually. And I think that... Again, if he continues to play like he is, I don't think it's going to be a long time before he gets snapped up by a bigger franchise. He's got Xander Duplessis outside him in the halfback combination. Luther Obi has made the move from the Pumas to the Greekers, and he will get his Curry Cup debut tomorrow as, um, for, for the Greekers as well. Xander Duplessis also on debut. And the centers is Ayonka Ayonka also on Curry Cup debut and Greekers debut. He's got uh, Christopher Hollis outside him, very nice operator. And then you've got Munir Hotzenberg and Ashlon Davids 
Um, Hotzenberg also on debut. Ashlon Davids, though, very much an experienced player. He played a lot with the Lions, and I've been very much enjoying him at fullback. I think he's quite exciting. Um, came through as a scrum half, and now sort of moved towards being more of an outside back, and I've really I've enjoyed what I've seen from him when he does play with the number 15 jersey on the back. Off the bench for the Greek was the, the debuts continue. It's it's all, not, not a single one of those um, three reserve um, sorry, the Yanka Aces obviously played for the Greeks, but uh, Kutza Dube, Justin For um, Forward, and Johanna Tifa are all on Greek with debut. Um Michael Amiris is also on debut. Um Regan Aranya and uh, Theo Boshov obviously have played a little bit more for the Greek Wiz. And then Sango Kamlasha is on debut for the Greek Wiz. A couple of players moving from some of the bigger franchises to get some game time, which is what you want to see, you know. Um, so there are officially 12 players making their debut for Greek Wiz. So 12 out of the 23 have never worn a Greek Wiz shirt before tomorrow. Um, and eight players are currently make, are set to make their um, Curry Cup debut. So on the face of it, you've got to back the cheaters to get a result. However... Never write off young players who have a point to prove. And especially on debut, you know, you, you'll you obviously try to put as much as you can out there. Um, so, you know, inexperience can always count against you, but there'll be no shortage of, you know, heart and, and eagerness to impress by all the Greek players. So that could count in their favor as well. However, being in Bloemfontein, everything is sort of stacked towards the cheaters. Let me know what your score predictions are down in the comments below. Please do subscribe to the channel as well and smash a like on the video. We will be live for this game. Uh, Lakanya Tongreni is back and he will be taking you guys through this game. I'll be live with you guys tomorrow night as well as tonight for the other two Curry Cup games. Um, thank you very much for watching. My name is Steven and I'll chat to you guys very soon.